everyone, welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. I got asked by a couple of special ladies to do this topic on how to make small chat. Some of it can come naturally for people, some people struggle. I think even the people who it come naturally for will hopefully benefit from some of these tips. So there's five tips, and the very first one is be interested. So often if we go to a situation where we have to make small talk, whether that's at a work function or a Christmas party, it can be something that we dread. And I think that it's an opportunity you never know who you're going to meet, you never know who you're going to connect with. So be open and be interested and see where the conversation could lead. The second one is look for common interests. So I'm a reader. If somebody else reads right away, I'm like, what do you read? I have some set questions that are very comfortable for me to ask. It's also situational. So like when we travel a lot in a hotel, you pretty much know most people aren't from there. So it's pretty easy to say, where are you from? If you've ever been on a cruise ship, when you sit down for dinner, there's like the standard questions. Where are you from? Have you been on cruises before? Was it this cruise line or another one? How many cruises have you done? It's kind of these standard questions that you go through over the meal and you realize by the end of the cruise, this is the pat questions that everybody asks. You can kind of have those in your mind and maybe a couple extra just to switch it up a little bit. And that's the third thing is keep throwing out topics. So where do you work? Or if it's your husband's Christmas party, how long have you worked here? What is it that you do? You know, what do you do in your off time? Finding some things that you have in your head that you're going to start asking. You will be amazed. I've gone to parties and found everything in common from books to makeup to travel to dogs. You just don't know where the topics will lead. And I just keep throwing things out until something clicks. The fourth thing is very essential. You have to participate in the conversation. So if you say, you know, what do you do for fun? And they start talking, you need to do a little more than, hmm, mm-hmm, hmm. That's not gonna have the conversation flowing. You have to participate, even if it's something like, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you do that often? Or, you know, just keep engaging them and drawing them out. And I kind of look at it that I'm there to have a good time, but so are they. And hopefully I will help them to have a good time. And finally, this last one may seem obvious, but I think it needs saying is people are wanting to be put at ease and that means no sensitive topics. So I wouldn't be bringing up politics or religion or lecturing on topics that I'm very passionate about. Those are probably good topics to avoid and just let the conversation flow naturally and help the person feel at ease. To me, when someone that I'm talking with is laughing, that tells me that I've done a good job of helping them draw out of their shell and be at ease. And then also if they seek me out at the next function, I feel like maybe we had a good connection. So hopefully these tips will help you to be at ease and to put others at ease with small talk. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.